Welcome back everyone. It is finally Friday afternoon. We have been seeing mostly sunny skies for this morning. Same case to start off this Friday afternoon, but wow, look at the temperatures, especially out west. 97 degrees in Rio Grande City, also 97 in Edinburgh, 96 in McAllen and here in Westlaco. Out east, 92 in Port Isabel and 93 in Brownsville and in Raymondville. So here's your day planner forecast. Once again, much like yesterday, it'll be hot, breezy and humid. Look at that 100 at 3 p.m. This is in Westlaco. We will see high temperatures in the mid to upper 90s for the lower valley, but easily triple digits for McAllen in the upper valley. Mid 90s at 6 o'clock this evening, still mostly sunny and breezy. It'll be very warm early on this evening with a temperature of 87 degrees at 9 p.m. If you're heading to the island for this Father's Day weekend, we expect it to be very warm. 90 degrees tomorrow, 89 on Sunday, mostly sunny and breezy both days as well as humid and of course uh, the rip current risk is moderate so in any case please please swim near a lifeguard uv index is extreme both days so be sure to use plenty of sunscreen and because of the breezy weather uh, carry something weighted to keep your uh, belongings uh, down so they don't fly away in the wind satellite picture of course not too bad here we're tracking the tropics here at channel five we continue to watch uh, two areas one is a tropical wave that is in the mid-atlantic ocean uh, here in south america there is africa so right now has a 40 percent chance of developing over the next five days. Now, over uh, closer to our neck of the woods, here's the Yucatan Peninsula, and there are the keywords. Nothing has developed yet, but we anticipate, uh, the Hurricane uh, Center anticipates over the next five days uh, something forming, maybe at least a tropical disturbance, at least a tropical wave with a 60% chance of development over the next five days. There is still a lot of uncertainty, mind you, as to where or if this forms or where it might go. But let's show you future track. Of course, our big weather maker is at Big Blue H. That that's over Mexico and Texas, keeping our weather very hot here for the weekend and next week. But we will see if this potential disturbance does form. Of course, we put the question mark on the word, and there's still a lot of uncertainty as to where this potential system might go. May track more to the west or could take a different track. So just keep it tuned because of the uncertainty. Keep it tuned here at Channel 5 throughout the weekend and for next week. We will put in at least small rain chances in the forecast uh, for the middle of next week, but according to this particular model, uh, the high wants to keep uh, pushing down on this potential disturbance, keeping more to the south. Again, that could very well change. On the water, we'll have winds into the southeast at 15 to 20 knots. The bay waters are choppy. Uh, small craft should use caution on the bay waters. Your next tide is a low tide at 208 in the morning on Saturday. Today's forecast feels like 105. That's the heat index. Actual air temperature 100, mostly sunny and breezy. Then for tonight, a few clouds and humid and warm with a low temperature of 80 degrees. Here's that seven day forecast. Triple digits for tomorrow. Upper 90s for Father's Day Sunday and for Monday. Upper 90s on Tuesday. We'll put in a slight Light chance for some showers and thunderstorms at this point for next Wednesday and for Thursday. In the morning lows, they stay very warm. They will remain in the upper 70s from Monday and Tuesday. Look at that. 80 degrees tonight, 80 degrees for Saturday night into Sunday morning. That's your first word five forecast. Now here's Alan.